So the reason why I'm doing this video is because my mum is always on eBay. She's either selling stuff or buying stuff there all the time, but the pictures she takes are not really that good. Like most of them look kind of something like this and it doesn't look that good to be honest. It doesn't look professional, it just looks like you've taken it on your phone, which you have done. But I want to show you how you can still take a picture on your phone, but it takes about 10 minutes to set up. You can change these kind of images here that look very unprofessional and not very good at all into some really nice professional looking images and it takes about 10 minutes and you can even do it on your phone. So I got these big white A1 mount boards which are foam and polar white, so this is going to be really handy to make the box that we're going to use. So now I've cleared out a little bit of space in my room. I've got all the whiteboards there and I'm quickly going to make a little bit of box in the corner. Um, it might be a good idea to use a little bit of sellotape as well to stick over the edges just in case it falls apart but because I've got the corner it's going to be fine for me. So I left two sides of this box open. I've left the right hand side and the front hand side. Basically the front hand side is where I'm going to be placing my camera and on the right hand side is where they're going to have my light source coming in from. So the way I'm going to be lighting this box is very simple. I'm going to be using a little soft box on the side of it, shining white light into the actual box. It's very simple to do, but if you don't have a soft box, it doesn't really matter. All that matters is that you have a little white lamp. If you can use a lamp or any alternative to shine some white light into the box, it'd be fine. So if you've got a big torch or even just a little lamp, it's exactly the same thing. It works the same way and it's very simple and easy to light. What you do want to make sure though is that you don't have any other external light coming in and interfering with the box. So you can either one, wait for it to get get dark or also alternatively just shut the blinds. Turn off all the external lights and just let the softbox or the lamp that you're going to use do all the work. So what's really beneficial about having these big A1 mount boards is that you can move around. You've got a lot of space, you can fit big objects in, you can get little objects in and you've got still got plenty of room to maneuver and get the right angle for the picture that you want. And like I said before, you can obviously do this shoot on your phone. Obviously just go on the camera app and maybe turn the brightness up a little bit more to make sure the background is completely white and there you go. So obviously what's really beneficial about these boards is that they don't even take 10 seconds to dismantle. They take up no room whatsoever so you can just put them away somewhere and then whenever you do need to do another shoot, you can reuse them. So obviously if you did like that guys, please give it a like, give it a share and I'll see you guys in the next one.